The worst case of insertion sort occurs when the input list is in reverse order. Here on each scan backwards, where we find where the current value goes in the sorted sublist, every value left of the current value will be compared and shifted. So for a list of size n, this will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the integers up to and including n minus 1 comparisons. Let's see what it looks like in the case where n equals 5. So initially i is at position 1. Sort pose is there too. And 9 is the cur value. The values left of i are sorted. So should 9 go right of 10? No, it should not go right. Sort pose can't go any farther left, so 9 goes at position 0. Now the first two values are sorted. Now i moves to position 2. Sort pose moves to position 2 as well. 8 is the curve value. Should 8 go right of 10? No, it should not. Should 8 go right of 9? No, it should not. Sorter pose can't go any farther left, so 8 goes at position 0. Now the first three values are sorted. I moves to position 3. Sort pose as well. And 7 is the curve value. I think you know how the rest of this is going to go, so I'm going to do it without speaking. So you can see in the case where n was 5, we made 10 comparisons. Now let's do a big O analysis for the general case. The sum of the integers from 1 through n is n times the quantity of n plus 1 divided by 2, like in this picture. Here we're only taking the sum of 1 to n minus 1, so the total number of comparisons will come out to the quantity of n minus 1 times n over 2, which can be rewritten as n squared divided by 2 minus n divided by 2. So we follow our procedure. First, we get rid of constant coefficients. Each term here is being multiplied by 1 half. So now all that's left is n squared and n, and we know n squared should dominate. Thus, we should remove n, and all that's left is n squared. So we can say that this algorithm runs in O of n squared time. When we analyze a sorting algorithm for memory, we exclude the actual size of the input because this is a given. We analyze in terms of the auxiliary memory, or extra memory. In the case of insertion sort, it doesn't need any more auxiliary memory, depending on the size of the input list. Instead of making a copy of the input list, Insertion sort operates directly on the original, making changes to it. Also, the number of extra variables insertion sort stores doesn't change depending on the size of the input list. All we kept here was i and sort pose. In other words, since the amount of extra memory insertion sort needs is constant, it doesn't change, then we say that insertion sort requires O of 1 memory. What are the takeaways from this video? Well, insertion sort runs in O of n in the best case when the list is sorted, runs in n squared in the worst case when the list is in reverse order, and the fact that it performs better under sorted or partially sorted conditions means that insertion sort's adaptive. Recall that insertion sort is stable in that it preserves the original order of elements. So remember that the eight of hearts came before the eight of spades both before sorting the list and after. Remember that insertion sort works in place. The auxiliary memory usage doesn't change as the size of the input grows.